Welcome back. Let's take a quick look at Hbar, Hedera Hashgraph. So for Hbar against BDC, woohoo, we saw this. We saw this. A mountain range. Something like a head and shoulders. And then we collapse. Pew! This was a very quick one. Uh, the question we have now is is this a consolidation to break higher or is this a consolidation to break lower? We are not too sure. Uh, this is actually lower highs and lower lows. Lower high and lower lows is what you call, is what forms a falling falling channel, right? And falling channels usually break higher. However, I don't see the, I don't know, doesn't really look that uh, convincing to me. We're still under the skinny pink line. So as long as we're under the skinny pink line, we remain bias bearish for H bar against BTC until we really truly break higher because I suspect that the whales may be looking to pull H bar lower to take out the lows over here. I suspect, right? And even if H bar does uh, fall lower, uh, I guess that this would be a good thing because this could be a very big squeeze coming on for H bar, right? This, this, I mean, if we were to consider this long week, this could be an A, right? This whole thing could be an A. We went up for a B, we come down for a C, we get a D, we get an E, 2024. Uh, Bitcoin halving, we go madness again for H bar. That would be great though. Uh, but of course, we need to see the chart pattern yet before we make a move for H bar. H bar USDT shows uh, bearishness as well. We're still under the skinny pink line ever since breaking out uh, convinc convincingly, breaking down convincingly in December 2021. Uh, we've really failed uh, to, you know, really truly stay above it right uh, this was really some close calls right and this was like kind of like a not exactly a second chance but uh, the second chance came when we cross it and cross back up uh, this was the second chance to get out all right um, yeah but anyway uh, that was like 32 cents h bar is five cents right now oh my god anyway uh yeah this is where uh, the big support area is and we are right at where the, uh, we almost broke out. This is kind of the breakout point. So we're, we're kind of going close to the breakout point though. So uh, yeah, things just aren't really looking that good. Um, uh, H-bar could uh, form mountain ranges over here. If we get a very high quality bearish chart pattern, like a descending triangle, then H-bar could hit very, very low. If we get no uh, chart pattern, then yeah, it might, it might be less painful uh, uh, in terms of the move, right? Because H bar might take out the lows over here and here, right? Uh, this could be a 53 or 54 percent drop. So, yeah, things could get really, really ugly if we get a high quality bearish chart pattern over here, right? If, if we see a rally coming, some people might think that uh, the rally is something uh, you know uh, to look forward, uh, but I don't think so because this is really a one mountain. Even if we do rally, I suspect we could get a second mountain. It could be a higher second mountain, which would make the head of a mountain, a uh, head of a head and shoulders, or it could get a smaller mountain, uh, which could be a descending triangle to bring us lower. So yeah, this is not what I will consider as a bullish reversal chart pattern. We will know it is a bullish uh, reversal when we see things go sideways, right? So when, uh, you know, when downward trends end, we will go sideways for a while. This whole thing is kind of a sideways move uh, before we went higher. So we've been dropping, we'll probably go sideways first before going higher, if if we were to uh, start a reversal, right? But yeah, things are still not looking good. I don't think this is the low, right? Uh, the low here is at what, 5.5 cents? I don't think that's the low. I think we're gonna breach uh, 5 cents for H bar against USD. So yeah, be careful about going to a trade too soon. I don't know if you're going to be stopping at 4.8 or 4.9, you know, it's, it's just not looking good yet. So uh, the smart thing to do is to wait for things to start, uh, you know, the engines to start first uh, before making a move because you never know uh, when things might just start slamming down, right? So yeah, if, if a rally comes, be careful. We're still under the skinny pink line. All right, uh, I guess that's it for my H-Bar technical analysis. Hope you guys enjoyed it. See you in the next one. Ta-da!